Elsewhere, although Killer B was thought to have been captured by Sasuke, he had managed to safely escape the Akatsuki using substitution jutsu. Unaware of this, his elder brother, the Raikage, became furious and made preparations to hold a Five Kage Summit. Meanwhile, in the Hidden Leaf, the hardliner Danzo Shimura was installed as the Hokage in place of Tsunade, who had been wounded during Pain's assault. Danzo hoped to use the summit to solidify his path to becoming the Hokage. Amid clashing views, the summit grew heated. Suddenly, the Taka launched an assault led by Sasuke. The highest priority target on Sasuke's quest for revenge was none other than the Hokage Danzo. But before Sasuke could strike, the Raikage blocked his path and drew him into combat. You, enemy of B, my brother! I, the Raikage, will finish you personally! I only want Danzo. Everything else will destroy. Right here! I'm gonna teach you the fear of true fury! Let me give you a taste of total defeat! Get out of my way. I'll cover for you, but you better be careful. Right here. Oh, what are you right there? Right here. Right here. Right here. What? Nimble little. You're more stubborn than I thought. I'll end this. No one defeats the right target. Should I do it? What? Right here. Chidori. Should I do it? Ready in a minute. Right here. Hmm. Playtime's over. It's time to finish you off. With Sasuke on the attack and the Raikage on defense, a life-or-death battle erupted. Don't underestimate the Raikage! But Gara, the Kazakage, intervened in the mayhem.
he called on Sasuke, his one-time rival during the tuning exams, to stop fighting. The hatred that consumed him had turned his heart cold, just as Gara's heart had been. Do not let hatred chase you into a world of solitude, or you will never return. I walk in darkness. I don't intend to listen to you. With tears, Gara accepted that his responsibility as Kaze Kage was to eliminate Sasuke. Living for revenge won't solve anything. Do not let hatred chase you into a world of solitude, or you will never return. So, if I were to return, what is there for me on your side? God, it's Convinced Naruto wouldn't have failed. The moment he attacked the summit, he became an international criminal. He's got no future anymore anyway. Sasuke. You're a lot like me. You've been walking through this world in darkness. That's why even a tiny ray of light ought to reach your eyes. Your hatred is far from equaling mine! My rage! Right here! Surpass yours! Right here! Follow me! Right here! Right here! Right here! Right here. You were a rather impressive boy, but it ends here. I've got no grudge against you, but many ninjas seek your death. Goodbye. <gasps> Particle style, atomic dismantling jutsu! With Sasuke wounded and in danger, Toby burst onto the scene and saved him. Toby disclosed his Tsuki no Mei plan to the Kages. His goal was to revive Ten Tails, the combined form of the tailed beasts, and serve as its Jinchuriki. He planned to use such tremendous chakra to cast Genjutsu on the moon to spread infinite Tsukuyomi across the entire world. Toby's ambition was to use Genjutsu to create a world without strife. He demanded the release of the remaining eight tails and nine tails, but the Kages refused. I may not have strength, but I do have the powers of the tailed beasts. You have no chance of winning. We won't abandon hope. <laughs> Very well. With the summit ending in failure, Toby declared the start of the Fourth Great Ninja War.
Although Donzo had withdrawn from the summit, Toby drew him into an unavoidable confrontation with Sasuke. Sasuke seethed with murderous intent. Seemingly trapped, Donzo audaciously declared that he would take Sasuke's eyes. I will crush you. <laughs> Big words, boy. The true nature of ninja is darkness. Since you do not understand that, you'll fall here. Right before I finish you off, there's one thing I want to ask you. Is it true that it was on your orders that Itachi and Shiha slaughtered my clan? I didn't think he was that kind of man. Itachi. I told you everything with his dying breath. It seems you alone really were special. So it is true. But self-sacrifice. That is the essence of ninja. Never to see the light of day, but rather to serve the shadow. It isn't just detaching. Many ninja have died just so. It is thanks to them that peace has been maintained. Do you understand? My despair will swallow even your darkness! Now that's battling with your eyes. Do not mock the Uchiha! This will be a battle fought with the eyes. I will not fall. I am a reformer. I will not permit anyone to halt my progress. For the sake of the ninja world, I will press forward. One down, big brother. Without wavering, he claimed his revenge against the Hokage. Sakura rushed to the scene. Unable to restrain Sasuke, she found herself in the path of a blow filled with malevolent intent.
But Naruto intervened in the nick of time. Just a little more and I'll know the answer. I feel it. I'll find the answer. In this fight. I'll crush you. Sasuke, Madara told me the truth about Itachi. I don't know if he was lying. It doesn't matter. What you've been doing, I get it. What could you possibly understand? What can you, with no parents or siblings, possibly know about it? Why don't you just shut up? Madara, I'll destroy you. Bond was severed long ago. Stop acting like my best friend. My hatred will never end. Till I crush the leaves. I will take all your hatred. I'm going to protect the bond between us. I can still. You know, Sasuke. You and I. Our roles could have been reversed. Rasengan! Chidori! And so, Naruto and Sasuke met again, this time as first-class ninja. In that brief moment, they communicated their feelings wordlessly. I had nothing, but I built bonds. And then in our missions as Team 7, I kept chasing after you. I wanted to be like you. So, Sasuke, I've never said it before, but... I'm happy. Happy I knew you. Sasuke was entirely unmoved. Why? What do you want? Why are you so obsessed with me? Because we're friends. Fine. I'll kill you first. I haven't proven myself to you yet. Declaring his intention to annihilate everyone from the Hidden Leaf, including Naruto, he vanished along with Tobi.
In response to Toby's declaration of war, the five great nations formed the world's first ever allied shinobi forces. In order to protect the Jinchuriki, Naruto, and Killer Bee, it was decided that they would be sent to an island near the Hidden Cloud Village. The two Jinchuriki made fast friends, and Naruto learned how to control a tailed beast from Killer Bee. To control a tailed beast, a Jinchuriki must use their human chakra to seize the spirit chakra. However, the risk that the Jinchuriki's chakra will be taken instead makes it a dangerous gamble. Oh, I see. You're hoping to gain control over my power. Do you really think you can win? I've got this! with your operation. Thanks, Octobops! You have infuriated me. I should be paralyzed by fear and do nothing? I'll end this chain of hatred! I'll never give up! You're mine now! Gotcha! Not 
so fast. Success! Winston! Perfect Shuriken! Naruto tried to control Nine Tails' chakra. But under the influence of the hateful spirit, he was almost overcome by its malevolent voice. Just then, Someone special appeared to strengthen his resolve. You stay here. Don't go anywhere. Naruto. I've... I wanted to meet you for so long, you know? Mom? Get out of my way, Kushina! Minato included my chakra in the ceiling jutsu, so I'd appear when you tried to control the Ninetales. So that I could lend you a hand. What is it? Is there something on my face? I... I was thinking about how lucky I am to have such a beautiful mom. Oh, <laughs> well thank you. You have your father's hair, but I'm sorry you got stuck with my face, Naruto. Why? I got my good looks from you, right? I even wish I'd gotten your straight red hair. It's totally awesome! <laughs> that makes you the second man who has complimented my red hair. Yeah? So who's the first? Who do you think? Your father, of course. Hey, hey, there's something I've always wanted to ask you. How did you and Dad fall in love? When we first met, your father Minato and I were both still little kids. I have a slightly special chakra, and I was kidnapped by the Hidden Cloud Village because of it. But I knew I had to do something in order to leave behind a trail while I was being led away. I snipped off and dropped strands of my hair, carefully, so the enemy wouldn't notice. The Hidden Leaf Village immediately put together search parties, but they had a hard time finding me. We were almost to the border, and I thought that I was done for. But then... Was that when... Yep, Minato was the one who rushed to my side and rescued me. He was the only one to notice the strands of my red hair. He told me it was because my hair is so pretty. The red hair that I had always hated had brought me the man of my dreams. My hair became my red thread of destiny. After that, I grew to like my hair, and more importantly, fell in love with Minato. 
There are certain words I only bestow on the men who compliment my hair. Will you accept them? Naruto? I love you. Emboldened by his mother's love, Naruto freed himself from the malevolent voice and took aim at Nine Tails once again. I'm overflowing with power! Now's my chance! I'm ready! I'll win this fight! You right, you little dummy! Stay calm. If you carefully watch his movements, you'll spot an opening. Yes, ma'am! I'll stop him. Now! Get him! Once and for all! Once Nine Tails had been tamed, Kushina apologized to her son for making him a Jinchuriki. Naruto, however, expressed his gratitude. He was happy. Because he knew that his parents truly loved him, he was proud to be their son. Minato, are you listening? Our hopes did reach our boy. Naruto! Thank you for letting me become a mother. And thank you for letting Minato become a father. Thank you so, so much. For being born. To us.
I am Naruto Uzumaki, Leaf Ninja. My dream is to become Hokage. And to surpass all other Hokage. To become an even cooler guy than Dad. And an even more powerful ninja than you, Mom.